Welcome back and salutations everyone to Old World Blues, A to Z series in which we're playing right now as Eagle Rock. We've actually done very well pushing in against the Black Canyon off screen and now going through the glow bugs. We're doing actually really, really well. I mean, we've lost 102, we have 18% total war participation, and we've eliminated less than a thousand. They're about to capitulate, so hopefully we can get something here. Uh, but I wanted to resume as, uh, well, the, like I said, the capitulating soon, and I want to show you that this has actually gone extremely easily for some reason. Not sure why, but we'll take it. Um, I guess they got most of the divisions encircled and destroyed, which we'll gladly go to love. And we won the war. We got one slashing melee equipment. Fantastic. This will probably put us at war with the rest of them. We'll take whatever we can. Sure, why not? Well, we ended up with a lot more territory than I thought we would. I have a feeling they're going to go to war with us soon. Um, so just in case. They're not going to be easy, but then again, we do need anti-tank. But maybe they won't go to war with us. Vertical industry, very nice. Very, very nice. This is very misleading, because this front line here, it's still part of this tile here, but there's another opening here, so we just have to be very, very careful. Um, yeah, abundant metals. All right, war's over. Get back to work in those mines of yours. You know, just in case, what if we started just playing on them? Oh. Why not? So we've greatly expanded, more than I thought we would. We have two wings of, ener of uh, airships, so energy cells. So that's going all right. One's on close duty, close air support, and the other one's on uh, air superiority. And now we have, need more infantry equipment, anti-tank. It always seems like we're out of stuff. Weaponry. But how much money do we have right now? New system scrap attributes would not be bad. 170-ish, roughly. Uh, set of branch offices. We're, well, we're pretty much done setting them up, so we can close out of that probably. Also, we did our Brotherhood offshoots, so that's how we got another division here. The armor defenders from the last video, and we unfortunately can't convert it, so we got power armor, platoons, demo teams. We're going to need more power armor, um, so it is what it is. Anything here that we really want, we'll get in some laborers, which I do like. Threshing machines for more manpower, because my god, do we need it. And we're going to continue hurting our stability because, yes. Abundant metals. Uh, clearing the rabble. The groups that stand underway are highly radioactive ghouls. Let's keep them distant, shall we? Glow bugs and luminous ones. Even though we just took them out, so. I guess luminous ones and glow bugs. Oh, technically they still exist. Oh, you just did a peace treaty. Oh. I didn't realize that. Well, alright then. Train. <clears throat> Textbooks. Research speed is not bad. I like the whole Slavs there. Slavies. What do we have that we aren't using? Portable radios, yeah, we'll get there eventually. Don't worry, we're definitely going to be using them. Um, and can we core anything over here? Yes. Nice. Anything over here? 10,000? That's not bad, too. <clears throat> East Carbon, that's okay. That's, that's worse. This is way better to do over down here in Moab. Not bad. So now we're looking decent on manpower. Not great, but we're looking decent. Pioneer kits are fantastic to have. This would be great to have, too. Clearing the rabble is awesome as well. Rats in Denver, Colorado. And our greatest t test as of yet. Oh. Oh boy, is that going to put us at war with Lanius eventually, perhaps? It could. Rations, laborers, go ahead and get the one for laborers, that's fine. We'll see. Hey, what do you find? Electronics? It's not bad. Only 150 extra bottle caps every month? It's not enough. And what are we lacking now? Nothing? Oh, that one's kind of a mess for us right now. Coastal patrols are good. And then what? Spoils of Denver? Probably not. Uh, I did read all these last time. So, construction speed, agility, look at Rostats. Okay, that's farming, a little more manpower, good. And we're going to start going down here, maybe? Mm, let's keep going down further south. Some more daily army XP, that'd be pretty nice. Grab some of that. 
And start coring tennis for caverns. Anti armor tactics, good. And then what? So dockyards are alright. Cadet training's not bad. Um, I do like to do some more desktop down here. I did read all these last time, like this one. So the skyscrapers and higher education. So we're probably going to race to get to architectural genius. Starting mines, more resources. It's not bad. Production cost gets way better, but less reliability, unfortunately. Eat markets. With our access to abundance of different markets, we've come across some rather unique vendors and powerful items for sale. That'd be great. Could we go to war with them? Could we stand against them? And be successful? That really is the question. Yeah, they're 20 combat width. Spec Ops could look a little better themselves, because they're not, they're not very good right now. You know what, instead of doing that, give him chems. So if we go to war, that might be able to give us a little bit more army XP. So especially, like, I mean, they got quite a few divisions. They start attacking us, that's fine. I know they have more divisions up top, but they should, or at least territory up here, but they should not be able to deploy there without attacking us and try to break through our lines. Oh god. That's a lot of divisions attacking us. Okay, maybe that was a bad idea. Yeah, okay, so they're actually hitting us very extremely hard. The nursery. Oh god, what political power. Interesting. Less division organization, but way better breakthrough. Attack bonus against the country of Black Canyon. They're actually doing extremely well. How are they doing so well? Because we have only two divisions there. Still. But they're just kind of shredding through us right now. Especially here, too. It's not ideal. Yeah, no. Well, maybe we made a mistake. But maybe we didn't. But maybe we did! And here we're at, everyone. Um, we've expanded a little bit. And we've also went to war with Diana. We're holding well against her. But they also went to war with uh, Vault 27. And they went to war with me. So, yeah. Um, yeah, holding against these guys wasn't great. But then trying to hold against... Actually, it's not too bad. Twin Mothers have actually been attacking... Huh. They've been attacking us for a while. Even uh, this, the Vault down here has been attacking us. They've been killing each other, too. That's why they got encircled down here, too. So, um... Yeah, we're actually doing alright finally. Uh, expanded moorings. Improved moorings with better lower airships to load and unload trade goods. Develop western farmland, although our territory is mostly hills, we do have some flatter arable land to our west. Uh, Eagle Rock resources. Eagle Rock relies on obtaining some of, most of its resources to trade with other communities. However, we should look to obtain a reliable source of resources within our own borders. Also, we cord pretty much everything that we can around here. Uh, we could go up this way too, I suppose. Uh, would that be worth it though? Do we get a discount or not? I'm uh, sure. Claiming canyons? Ah. When you quickly clear out these canyons before any guerrilla fighters can establish themselves? Clearing radiation. This goal should be finally take plenty of right away. That's how this works, right? And sourcing weaponry. We should consider arming our mercs with advanced weaponry to make the most of their skill. Oh, maybe this one too. So, we've been, honestly, I've just been letting the game kind of run and trying to defend as best we can against these guys. So, as you can see, I mean, they love attacking us. I know, we don't want to upset them. So, we do have now five research slots, which is pretty decent. Pretty darn good, in my opinion. Um, so we've just been kind of hanging out, making the guys a little bigger, tougher, thicker, better, you know. Cool, why not? We've been holding down here, we've been holding down there. Um, looks like they might be on the move soon as well. So, something to keep an eye out for. And then supply carriers, or rotas, rotas stats, can serve as the supply carriers for our army when they're in locations where the terrain prevents conventional motorized vehicles from reaching them. Automated systems. Automating some of our airship systems will allow the crews to focus on more important matters during a voyage. Cadet training. Those who wish to pilot aircraft or serve in the air crews require specialized training, which we should definitely provide. At this point, we should probably do it next to And they're attacking us as well. They're attacking each other. Or they're getting attacked over all... Uh, Pre-war bases, last one, very nice. Sourcing weaponry, refurbishing motorcycles. We need to motorize some of our divisions in order rapidly to respond to any threats we may face. Good. Construction speed is also very nice. Radar is nice, nice, nice. Yeah, they all want to attack us. Good, you want to play attackers, but I'm just going to keep with the airships for now. 
good, good, good. Demand a lot of stuff, but they're going to get absolutely nothing. Oh, they are expanding down there. That is not ideal. Uh, could we expand into here at all? I don't think so. Yeah. Because I don't trust these guys. Diana, is, as we've seen earlier, can be a little tough to beat up. Keep these guys in place. Doing training, nice. Good, good. See what we can do. And they still do continue to attack us quite a bit. Yeah, they kind of stopped attacking too. We're doing alright though, not great. Go up to 18 combat width. There you go. Make you guys a little stronger, especially down here. Oh man, once this is over. I mean, we do have the special forces there, don't get me wrong. Benton, huh? Mental exercises. We should plan out a list of procedures pr for what, uh, or procedures for what to do during any potential conflicts involving your aircraft. Yeah, that'd probably be smart. As long as these guys last. Ooh, this gives more political power like that. Potentially a lot more money as well. Oh, they're just definitely killing each other now. Hmm. A little more range wouldn't hurt. We need some fire teams next. Yeah, interception's good. Is there anywhere else we could maybe assault them? Air Force Academy. You can instruct an official Eagle Rock Air Force Academy or rigorously train future Air Force pilots. Uh, let's go with that. The Fox and Expert Soul Fighter next. That sounds like the most fun. I'm not sure what this is, but it looks like a hill, maybe. Or planes, I mean. Planes, 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 planes. Let's see what else we got around here. What sort of map art do they have? Stockpile. They're out of pretty much everything. Nice. In here? No, not really. So, and also, we went with this one, too. Strategy book know how. All books will acknowledge many battles throughout history. We can put this wisdom to good use against our enemies, so, which makes sense for the Air Force Academy and whatnot. Masters of Aviation, look at this. Our aircraft, especially our airships, are top of the line in every aspect. We're the masters of the air and aviation in the wasteland. Great. Wait, hold on. We need fire teams. We have to get fire teams next. We weaken ourselves to the point on the line where maybe they won't, might start attacking us more, perhaps? That'd be kind of nice. Penitentiary would be good. And we're going to decide. Oh, actually, you know what? We do have different teams this time. We should go with Cass. Uh, but, 
Is there one for blimps, maybe? Interception. Oh, they've got production cost. Fire range from the sky will never match the enemy in the sky at one at one, so I try their many other methods, even the odds in contest of clouds. Their speed. Uh, barrage balloons, enemy air support. Disperse patrol, spider aircraft. Defense, interception, ground bombing. Air defense, energy air silk. Light aircraft gets agility. More air superiority. Air speed. Strategic bombing. Heavy aircraft gets more defense and strap bombing. Terror of the inevitable versus clockwork strikes. We go down this way. More speed, less air defense, agility for them. I don't see any penalties for this one. It seems all duty generic and whatnot. Oh, well, you know, let's go to the middle one because jury rigging nuclear engine draws no so easy feat. You know, I'll go to the middle one. Why not? Pragmatic aviation for this campaign. Something I usually don't choose. Masters of aviation, supply carriers. There we go. Nice. Going somewhere else, which is fine. Can you enter? They do have anti air, which is not good. Air for relief. Get in there. Do we need any spare planes? We have one single spare plane. Not ideal. Is there a river we're crossing over or anything else that could help us out? No? So we're done with that too. Better radar perhaps? Nice. I'm not sure why I started from that technology. Just in the wind. Oh, my bad. I forgot to get the guys. I usually remember to get them, but I forgot them this time. My bad. Got a lot of things to build up here, don't we? Great race. Dockyards. In order to produce ships, we're going to need more dockyards. Yeah, that's pretty simple. Twice in two lifetimes. Keep it up. You're doing very well against them. Plus 900. We've killed off 9,000 of them. It's actually really fantastic. Cutters. We need line versatile ships to navigate the Colorado River. Yeah. They just keep putting more guys in here, more and more and more and more and more. It's kind of insane. Are good. Nice. They're literally gonna fight to like nothing left. Oh. Of course, Kaiser's Legion took everything over, so we have to defeat, defeat the Legion to get to. Hang dogs too, so that's gonna take forever as well. Wow, look how weak these special forces are! Holy cow, it's kind of insane. Am 
Oh, nice. Yeah, that's fine. Now we definitely need more resources as well. Not ideal. This is time for a little bit more extraction, shall we? Cutters, and we're gonna come over here now. We're starting mines. There are enough a couple of mines in the Yinta Mountains that could be of some sort of use to us if we refurbish them, yes? Man. Absolutely brutal. Any bonuses? Oh, I finally got the boat. The boat. Boaty. We could destroy these guys, but these, honestly, I haven't destroyed Vault 27 yet because this is a good distraction against uh, uh, Diana for us. We could probably exploit it more to our advantage. Let's see. Grab that. That's fine. Whatever. So all you have to do is just go from here to there. Sure you went pretty easily. And go to Professional Mercenaries. Doing our political power game, that's right. Not even one a day right now. Ugh. Terrible, I know. And we got him. Well, let's see what happens now. Starting the mines. Uh, bauxite refining. Refining the sedimentary rock of bauxite is the easiest way to obtain aluminum aside from buying or scavenging for it. A safe supply of aluminum would greatly benefit the production of aircraft. That's very important. Four divisions go bye bye. It's not bad. In there, you could actually encircle that other division too. Well, if you had moved fast enough, yeah. Well, let's see what happens. Doing all right? Yeah, I'll hit him from the rear. Nothing like hitting people from the rear, I guess. Here. Keep it in place. Paradise is going to fall. Fantastic. 26 divisions left, and we're doing all right. Not bad. So what's going to go to war with? Luminous ones, glow bugs. Yeah, this is actually better than I thought it would be. Holy crap. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So you just have to have him go to war with Vault 27, distract him, and penetrate him from the other side. Oh, amazing. Nothing like some good old penetration. So after this one, we we're definitely going to go get, uh, disband the council, which you read last time. So if you know about this, please go ahead. Boop. And then, vicious drills. Our military, people as a whole, are weak from generations of complacency. They must learn to face the wasteland. Absolutely. So we're looking pretty good. We definitely need way more blimps. We need more technology in general. We need a core reduction cost and pretty much everything. Time. Uh, that's a lot of time, that's alright. Mine for more resources, because right now we're still lacking. Not ideal. Please and thank you. Back over here. Very nice. We do this, will they attack us? Yes, I will. And we're getting slapped in several areas here, which is not uh, nice.
Oh, we got Lieutenant Dern in here too. Nice. Oh, and the glow bugs again after this too. Soak up all that XP. Oh, now they're really attacking us. Vicious drills and military youth. The spirit of the young will remain pure and untamed. They'll serve as a key to unlocking our future. But, uh, oh well, look at that army XP now. It's not bad. Uh, Colorado River trade. Trading along the Colorado River gives us access to dozens of different nations. Yeah, it's very true. Not quite went in here and there, but it's all right. Uh, sure, why not? And there's box. Oh, all right then. Well, there you go. Grenade rifles. Well, not too bad. And we're going back to the glow bugs. Buggy, 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 buggies. Yeah, we're definitely going to need a giant army against Iron Alliance in the Legion, so. Whew. It's going to be a lot to try to take out, man. Clearing can or claiming canyons. We need to quickly clear out these canyons before any guerrilla fires can stab themselves and cleansing radiation. Of course. Special forces, very nice. Very good. I don't get a claim on all of these guys yet. Goddard, huh? Ah. Boulder, which I've actually been to. Nice. Um, so now, after this, so we definitely need to go to there. That's this. What about Far Sun? It's kind of going the opposite direction now. I'm going to actually separate you two, maybe? Yeah, separate these two for now. You will come over here and help us hold here. There shouldn't be any problem over there. No more manpower, maybe. You can come right here. Wide legs are giant. Giant legs. Uh huh. It's all right. We're expanding up this way. Scrap shacks are good. Well, maybe not for the average consumer, but whatever. They're good for us. That's the most important thing. Better recovery rate, trickle back in XP loss, which really helps us out against the Diana. Huh. Far Sun. We can just need more resources in time to build up. Good. Claiming the canyons is nice. Keep working on a melee from here on out. We're gonna need them. Oh, yeah, clearing radiation. 
the parlor. Ain't worth very much, but it helps. Yes, please, right side in. Yeah. Oops. Well, we get more daily arm XP now, too. Could be worse. Do this, and then we're gonna by one. Yeah, meeting these is. Ugh. It's alright. Not great. Do we have another leader? John Mahoney? Or Mahone? Hmm. Air crew organizer, yeah. Cleansing. Uh, provides tanks. Well, power of the atom. Nuclear energy is a potential to power our cities for many years to come, yet it's also a potential to destroy in an instant. Or instant. So you're doing that, which is good. Let's continue coring stuff here. Alright. What do you got here for us? Hello? No? Fire team. How many mobile fortifications? You know what? We're jumping straight to fire bases. Yeah, we'll do this. Research efficiency gains good. And you guys can do the same thing. Oh. Very good defense. Let's trickle back actually a little bit, huh? Brook housing. Very nice. What else? About a month left, that's not bad. We need, definitely need more manpower now. Power of the atom. Uh, synthetic polymers. Synthetic polymers are plastic, is highly versatile, and light material that can be used in the construction of our airships. We can also use it to make certain machine parts of electronic devices. That would be great. Really needs more manpower. Here, that's not really worth it. This one's a little bit more worth it. Advanced technology. There are a lot of pieces of advanced pre-war technology scattered across the wastes. We could potentially purchase and reverse engineer some of them in order to advance our own technology. And that is if the brother hasn't already gotten to them. Purchase sophisticated electronic schematics, sophisticated industry schematics, and exact computer. Oh, mini nukes. Use five percent output. Well, all right, why not? Research speed, water, entry, specialization, probably not from here on out. Basic training appointments are good. Don't need that anymore. Probably gonna get attacked a whole bunch, but that's all right with us. Fighter planes? Well, I'm not really making them anymore. Research production, Sh sure. Now let's save real quick. So if we attack them, what happens? They start attacking us. Can we win? Maybe. Can we win here? Hopefully. A lot of red, so that's not good. More land out attack, yes. Oh, they're even forcing the defense. Wow, look at that. Boy, they got a lot of HP, don't they? Yeah, but they're also suffering a lot of casualties to themselves. We're getting there. Stability, yes. Stability is always worth it to get. Nice. Um, escort fleet and escort fleet for trading ships will help ensure that all of our goods make it to their destinations. Sure. 
Good crop rotations. Even more manpower is good too. Energy cell consumption. Well, it's not really needed. Not really needed. Gain. Experience gain. Comprehensive theory. Precautionary measures. Yeah, why not? They don't have a lot of manpower, but neither do we. We're doing alright in the east, but the west is just a struggle bus. Two thousand, six thousand, this will be next probably. Eight seventy seven, yeah. Air speed and range, detection, air defense. Air speed and range, more range for those blimpies. Uh, maritime trading fleet. Alongside our aero trading fleet, we should also build a maritime trading fleet. So generators. Well, it's not really worth it, but that's right. Robotics, nice. That's good. Military sending bonuses. Always military sending bonuses. We always need that. Yeah, we're doing well enough over here. You guys, I don't want you to fight them yet. This light aircraft doesn't really help us though, unfortunately. Um, oof. Brutally bloody. Gladly take this, yes. Well, go ahead, I guess. Hey, mini nukes, nice. And masters of air and sea. Well, there are ships of air and sea which should conquer all that can be. Hey, we're attacking defense. That's pretty good. Well, we're doing well. We're getting there. Lost a thousand versus their thousand. Oh, now you're just gonna go on in then, I suppose. Can't really see if they've done anything there or not, but whatever. Good. We absolutely need this manpower right now. And what's this? Aircraft more air superiority, better ground bomb bombing targeting, better fighter detection. So you can choose air attack and air speed, strategic visibility, goes down air accidents chance better with bad weather penalty, attack, ground attack, air support mission efficiency, ground interdiction is probably the one we're gonna go with. Yeah. Motion charge advancements is good. And now we can't win here, huh? That sucks. No point wasting resources like that. Just don't waste them. Uh, automated systems. Automating some of our airship systems will allow the crews to focus on more important matters during a voyage. Oh, look at that. And one. Finally, thank God. Something here. They can point and say, yeah, this is pretty good. I'm not sure how much it's going to help out being in the mountains like that, but whatever. You have five divisions here. You should be able to win, right? Right. There you go. So where's the capital now? Green River, huh? Well, that took a lot longer than I thought it would. 
kind of suck, not gonna lie. Yeah, I should have been just fine other people too. We got a big old board with the white legs, not ideal. Great cons, they'll probably come knocking sooner or later, right? Never mind. Oh god, I hope they don't come knocking anytime soon. That's a big midnight union. Um. Hmm. Well, maybe Thame Jumper's next. It's not really worth a really worthwhile goal, but I mean, I guess if we need to, I guess. Oh, we could really lay into them by having them attack our lines. By splitting our divisions into half, using just special forces here, maybe? Maybe we can start focusing on going to Nebraska, too. That might not be a bad idea. Uh, we're missing a lot of things now. That's not good. Yeah, go there, too. Uh, mini nukes? Well, if we can, that'd be great. And automated systems, makeshift tanks, converting pre-war construction vehicles into armor for infantry to vents behind will allow us to use more effectively break through enemy lines. Indirect support, so supporting our troops through non-violent methods such as medicine or treatment, or other logistics will greatly increase their effectiveness. Uh, direct support, directly supporting our troops with specialized weaponry, help them advance in enemy positions or defend vital areas. Robotic soldiers. The other prototypes of robotic soldiers are essentially just guns strapped to treads, but it's a stepping stone for further research and better than risking the lives of our citizens. Imposing robots. We're able to repair some logistical robots and equip them. We have weapons, now we must test them on the battlefield. And wind farms. The ink the mountains aren't particularly useful for a vast majority of buildings, however. We can build wind turbines on them to generate standard steam of power, or stream of power. Steam, methane, reforming. Steam, methane, reforming, or SMR is a process that we can deploy to help generate. Uh, hydrogen for airships. Spoils of the vaults. The vaults built over the vault tech before the Great War were the sources of powerful technology able to transform the wasteland into something more habitable. Powerful weaponry. From the plane casters to gauss rifles, there are plenty, some pretty powerful weapons in the wasteland for that engineers and mercenaries will have to get their hands on in pre-war designs. A part of a pre-war vehicle called the Vertebrae, which allows for the rapid deployment of land troops. Our engineers have already have plans making them able to dock with their airships and better support them in combat, but I think one of their... We got one more episode in which Eagle Rock is looking pretty good. We got a core more, get more manpower, probably go to fun, well funded militias. And, uh, yeah, and then we've got to take on the Legion, which is going to take forever, and it's going to be a giant pain in the butt, probably, and a giant, 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 giant grind. But, regardless, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a fat like. Hey, subscribe if you're new. Uh, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already, and I will see you tomorrow as we continue on with good old Eagle Rock. Thanks for watching. Have a great rock and rest of your day.